Hey and welcome. So how to drive more footfall into your physical store using Facebook. Okay, so if you're looking at this video, you're wondering you are a service type of business, you probably have a showroom or a physical store where, whereby you need to create brand awareness for people to know where you are and then to get into their heads so that they will actually come and visit your store. So look, this is what you will need. Now, these, this is the same uh, tactic that we're using for our clients and we're generating a lot of inquiries and through that, they, they, they get inquiries and then they follow up. And from following up, the people will go into their showroom. So what you need is a video. You then need an offer. And then you're going to need um, two. So you're going to need two basically campaigns. OK, so you're going to need two campaigns. So look, let me quickly tell you what, what, what the problems are. The problems are the most time. What, most, what happens is people will do Facebook ads. By the way, guys, my name is Galinda. I'm the founder of Mr. Marketing, which is a an online platform and we do marketing for our clients and generate leads through Facebook ads, Google ads, SEO with the goal of generating what brand awareness for companies and driving more footfall into their showroom, into their physical store. So I've been doing this for the last seven years and I also teach this for the last three years. Okay, so let's talk about the Facebook campaign. Now, if you are making a campaign on Facebook whereby you have your Facebook ads, so this is representing our Facebook ads and you're sending people to your website, that is the wrong thing to do. Do not just send people from Facebook to, to your website because people are on Facebook. They're relaxing. They're, they're not interested in businesses. They don't want to hear about business, but they are interested in something that's going to give them a return, something that's useful, some, some good piece of information that they will see that will be very beneficial for them, which is what, we talk, what we're talking about here as, in terms of an offer. So the goal is you want to get people from Facebook who see your ad to a landing page of a website, but rather than just send them to a random website, you want to get them to a page whereby they see some information about an offer. So you will have an offer, get 20% off, some, something like that, whereby they will see some information about uh, the showroom, a virtual video if you have, or something like that, something where they'll see exactly what, what, what it is you, they have, you have in store to sell from. And then they will see a contact form here where they can fill in more details so that they will be able to, in return, get their voucher to download their voucher. So they'll download the voucher. And then the goal is then is for you to get those contact details so you can phone them up, which is email, phone and any other information that you request from them. So that is the goal. And that's the correct way of generating more traffic to your website using the online space, such as Facebook advertising. Now. The, the, the other problem is in terms of an offer, that's one thing. So once you have an irresistible offer and I recommend a coupon of some sort or a free consultation call or some, some something along those lines whereby they know they're getting valuable information so that they're going to get opt in into your offer and you're going to get their contact details. Now, the other problem is, is targeting. The reason why we use video is targeting because on Facebook, if you don't know you're targeting and you don't get your targeting right, you will spend a hell of a lot of money, right? But if you get your targeting right, your campaign will be a complete success because you will resonate with the right people. You will sh you'll be in front of the right people. Your ads, your, your business will be in front of the right people. And then your offer will resonate with those people. So therefore, they will just go ahead and keep adding and adding. So this is how we've gotten some of our clients up to 65 leads in less than 48 hours. And you, you understand the value of these leads. Some of these leads are worth 10K each, you know, as long as they can convert them into the showroom. Now, on Facebook with video, you can reach up to thousands of people where normally it might cost you for every click. They Facebook or every conversion, Facebook might charge you, I don't know, nine euro. They could charge you eight euro. They could even charge you 20 euro. I've seen up to 30 euro at times, depending on what you're doing. The thing is, is that you're always looking to reduce your costs so your pay per click. Now, when you run your first campaign, in this case, what you want to do is you want to do a brand awareness campaign. So you do a brand awareness campaign on Facebook. So that will be a brand awareness campaign on Facebook. What you do here is you go for video views. So you push on video. When you push on video, you promote a video. So maybe you might have a video of, a, of, a, of your showroom or you might have a video of your, um, your products, if you like, or what people are going to go into your showroom, your physical store for. Once you've done that, you then advertise this to a target market. So you target this video to a certain type of demographic based on age, 
So if you're if you're selling high end goods, maybe they're over 50s. Maybe if you're selling uh, lower than that, it could be, you know, you pick your age, you know, your target market correctly. So maybe 30 to like some of our clients, 55 or maybe you're 50, 50 to 70 or 65 and so forth. Then the location where you're based and, and, and then the, some more information about these people. Maybe they're into DIY. They're interested in pages such as bathroom pages or kitchen or, you know, about the house. So the point is, is that rather than spending, if you did not do this strategy, you will be spending a lot of money per click. But this is known as video view targeting. So so because you're getting charged for video view, it could be they, Facebook will charge you a ridiculous amount of time, uh, money based on the, the number of views a video gets. So it could be that they charge you based on it for every 10 second video views, you're charged something like 0 0.03 cents. Okay, we've gotten our clients down to even 0 0.03. 0 0.003 at times, so it's ridiculously cheap. So, while the reason why you want to do it with the video, the brand awareness is because by making a video and advertising and getting in front of people, people will see your business, right? And what you have to know is that 80% of sales are made between the fifth and twelfth contact. So, 80% of the sales are made between the fifth and twelfth contact. So the more times people see your ads, the more people resonate with you, the more the inquiries you will gain So over time. Now, if you put your video out on Facebook, what happens here now is Facebook is always recording the number of people who are watching your videos. So if Facebook is recording the number of people who are watching your videos, it then means that, um, it then means, sorry, it means that you have an audience that you can remarket back to. So if you know that there has been Excellent. There has been maybe 2,000 people who have watched your video more than 10 seconds. You know that this group of people are really interested in your showroom or in your physical store or whatever you're advertising your video. So now what you can do is a second campaign. So one is a brand awareness campaign, and the second campaign is a, your second campaign is a remarketing campaign. Okay. So this remarketing campaign will be the similar to the first one, except in this case, we do com our conversions are based on those who opt in to our offer. Okay, so the first campaign is about getting brand awareness, getting in front of people. So this remarketing campaign, this one is based on leads. So it's a lead generation. So for everybody of those two thousand people who've seen your ad at this this stage, you can say, Hey, Facebook, here's a new campaign with some pictures and an offer we're offering now which could be a free consultation, et cetera, for those who have watched the video more than 10 minutes. So you're saying, hey, Facebook, show this offer to these 2,000 people. And then at this stage, you send them to your landing page and you will see the, the number of increases go ridiculously higher because remember, these people are not a cold audience. They have seen your ad before and they have watched your video more than 10 seconds. So they are definitely interested in what you're offering. So if your offering is a, is a really good offer, you will just see your number of inquiries come in. And this is how we're getting our clients up to 65 leads in less than 48 hours for some and some even more. So go ahead, apply that uh, logic, apply that strategy. Again, what you will need in this case is a video. You will need a good offer, a free consultation, uh, uh, a brochure they can download, uh, you know, 20% off discount. And then followed by, you then need to create two campaigns. One is a remarketing campaign, brand awareness, and, and so much more. Uh, sorry, re, uh, a brand awareness campaign. And then you, you do video. And, and promote your video and then capture the people who've watched it more than uh, 10 percent of the 10 minutes for instance and then now what you know do do next is you create a remarketing campaign and show an offer so it could be a picture of your coupon to those who have watched your video for more than 10 seconds and you send them to a landing page which they will then enter details and then you can follow up on a phone call and that's how you do it guys i've been galinda from mr marketing make sure you click the button below uh, to take you to the next stage and i look forward to helping you with your facebook campaigns thank you